Hi everybody, my name's Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. I hope everyone is well. I am so excited. Um, I am about to do an amazing commission. I love commission work and I love bright colours, rainbow colours. And this is a commission of a colour wheel. So every colour in the rainbow. Um, it's a huge canvas, big for me. Um, it's a one metre square canvas. Um, I'm going to put down a rainbow of colours in rainbow order in a circle and then blow them out as a Dutch pour. So it's going to be big and bright and bold. So I'm so excited. So let me show you all the colours I've chosen. Here are all the colours, so many colours, so many pots of paint. It took me ages to mix all of this up. Um, unfortunately, I don't know the name of all of these colours. So I'm just going to explain it as a range of reds. So starting, starting darker and then slightly lighter, oranges, some yellows, greens, turquoises, blues, um, some purples and some pinks. So with each colour band, so for example, looking at the blue, I've got a really dark blue, I've got a light blue, and then I've got some sort of in-between shades. So I'm going to be laying down a mixture of shades in each colour. So yellow is a bit trickier. I've got two shades of yellow, but the gold, this gold here is the Pebio Studio Acrylics Gold, and it's a very yellowy gold, so I think that works perfectly. Reds, you don't get a lot of shades of red. I, I don't tend to find you do. Um, if you add white, it will make pink, and I don't want to do that. But, so I'm a little bit short on the reds, but in this colour wheel, that will be next to the pinks, which I've got quite a lot of. So I think overall it will balance out. I'm going to do a white base. I'm also going to just mix up a little bit of black and a little bit of silver, because I might just introduce that at various points. So here we go, my one metre square canvas. I've put push pins in the back of it. I have um, leveled the canvas. I've also sprayed the back of the canvas with water and then just wiped um, wiped the water around because the drying of that water will help the canvas to tighten because I want this to be, it's gonna have a fair weight on it with paint. I want it to be totally, totally tight. So first thing I'm going to do is put down a white base. It's going to be quite a thin base. It doesn't need to be thick. It just needs to make the canvas wet. So it's not, it's not really going to add to the design other than having a little bit of um, white peeking through the colours. I'm just using it all. So probably I'm going to put, I'm going to put a thinner layer down than if I were doing um, a, 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 a regular Dutch pour. So the, all the paints I'm using, this white paint and all the coloured paints, they're all mixed to my Dutch pour paint consistency. And I'll put that recipe in the description of the video below. Um, the other thing I want to say is with all the colours, I've, I've, been, try, I've been trying to add some iridescent colours. Um, so in every band of colour, there are some iridescent colours because that will just add a beautiful shine. Um, and hopefully it will give me some cells and some, some pretty effects as the colours mix together. I've also added some fluorescent colours. Only three of them, pink, green and orange, because I quite like those. But I've measured up half the amount of each of those colours because I don't want them to take over. I just want a hint of something brighter. There was also a uh, fluorescent yellow, but I'm just not as keen on that. I don't think it matches the yellows that I've chosen. So I've, I've left that one out. Just put um, a big push pin upside down in the middle of this canvas so I know roughly where the middle is. So the plan for this is going to do a full rainbow to take up half of the canvas and then another full rainbow again. So I'm going to have every colour twice on this canvas. Um, I think I'd rather not start with red straight on. 
I think I'd almost rather start with it at a at an angle I think just because I think it would look too regular if you have it straight on so I'm going to put one color of each down um, these paints are in cardboard cups so I can pinch the cup really easily um, okay here goes Right, so the seven colours, so the six more. So I want one, two, three, one, two, three. Right, that has to be the most difficult bit done. It's mapped out now. I now know exactly what I'm doing. So I'm now going to be adding extra lines in of all of these colours. Um, I'll end up fast forwarding this video because it will be it's going to take me ages. I know it is, but I'm going to enjoy just pouring the paint on. So that's all my colours down. Yes, that took ages, but I loved it. It's so lovely just pouring paint on. Just removing my push pin. Right, now I haven't really thought about this next bit. How on earth am I going to do this? So obviously I'm going to start from the centre and I'm going to blow the paint out. I think I'm just going to have to take my time. There's a lot of paint on here, so I would quite like to blow a fair bit off over the edge. And obviously that will cover the edges nicely as well. I'm just going to have to start from the centre and just see what happens. Ah, oh, wish me luck. I'm really nervous now. I could mess this up at this point. Right, let's go for it.
Oh my goodness, how fun! Oh my goodness, what fun was that? Well, just in one more bit, I want to blow out. Right, only bit I'm not happy with is this black bit in the yellow. That was a mistake. I think I need some more yellow over the top of that. In fact, let's get rid of some of that black. It's just it's just far too dominating. got the cable caught there. Wow, I am so happy it's worked. Right, I'm just going to finish the edges. There's just a couple of little tiny tiny gaps where the paint just hasn't flowed over completely so I just sort those out and then I will get you in for a close-up so I'm standing right up high on a dining room chair here and I still can't quite get all of this painting in um, well certainly not straight anyway just look at the colors it's just so bright and bold and definitely definitely a color wheel I'm um, so happy with it. It was so interesting because as I was blowing out the colours, they were, obviously they were all out overlapping and then they were making lots of new colours as the colours were mixing and blending. Um, let us let me show you. The silver here was a brilliant addition because it's created quite a few really pretty cells. Um, I'm glad I've added the black. I'm glad I didn't add too much because I think it could have taken over. But just look at all these colours. And the first bit I blew out was, I think it was this red, and I was slightly concerned because I realised I was picking up the purple as I was blowing it out. But actually, that doesn't matter because I'm picking up all sorts of colours in each group of colours. Oh, look at those yellow cells. Oh, so sweet. It is just one big mix of colour. The centre, I am really, really happy with. I thought I would end up doing something to the centre. Um, I, I don't know, I, some, embellishing or doing something, but I really like it exactly how it is. I'm not touching it, I'm leaving it exactly how it is, um, where you've got that white line and then it just looks like all the colours, oh my goodness, look at my hands, all the colours just go out from, from there. Um, so I'm leaving it exactly as it is. So the blues, the greens, and of course there's iridescent colours here, so there's the iridescent green yellow, so when this dries that will look really, really pretty. There's an iridescent orange in there. Let's go around. And then the red, I'm really pleased with the red because it's definitely, there's definitely red in there. As I said, I was concerned that the red would just look pink, but because it's next to the orange and next to the pink, you can see the contrast. It definitely looks like the red. And then the pinks. And then look at this, you've got pink and purple, but somehow I've got some a line of green going through there. But it just, it just I love it, absolutely love it. 
Wow, what a cool piece this is. This is gonna look so bright. I just hope my customer likes it. I hope this is what she was wanting. It's definitely a color wheel. So I just hope it's the color wheel that she likes. Great, I will be back when it's dry. Here it is, it's totally dry. Wow, what a fun, crazy, happy piece. I, I'm so, so happy with it. Um, let me take you in close up. The colours are just amazing. Um, you just can't beat a rainbow. And wow, it's just got so much detail. So you've got all the individual colours, but you, they are just all blending together to make some wonderful new tones. And you can see here all the colours up against each other. And then some, some turquoises. So it's just so interesting. Oh, let me just focus. It looks quite stormy there. Um, um, I am really, really pleased with these little bits of silver because if I if I angle this, can you see? I don't know if you can see it. They're, they're really iridescent and shiny, so they really just stand out. Got some pretty lacing in there. It's just little tiny little details. If you look really close, you've got some really pretty details. Um, some lovely silver. Yeah, you can see how the silver stands out there. Oh, and what is that colour there? So I don't even know what colour. It looks bronze. I don't actually know what that is. I wonder if it's the um, orange mixed with the red. Because you can see it's iridescent. And I love the way you can just see the folds of paint. So you can see exactly where I blew this out. I think this has to be my favourite section. Blue, green and purple together really really pretty and then you've got a wonderful bit of iridescent green yellow through there some more really pretty cells yeah and some more so yeah that's orange and it's mixed with the red so it, and it looks gold there oh no maybe that, that bit is the gold right there you go so i am so happy um, it's exactly what i intended in my mind um, it was a bit of a gamble because there was so much paint involved, um, but I think it works. Well, I know it works. I will. It, this will be a paint, painting that I'm quite sad to say goodbye to when it goes to the customer. Um, so thank you so much for watching this. Let me know what you think. Please leave me a comment. Um, if you like the painting, do hit the thumbs up, up button. And please do subscribe to my channel. Oh, and the centre. As I said, I just left the centre. And I love that. It's just, it's just so natural. Great. Thanks, everybody. Bye.